We're going to walk around the uh, North American 36-foot bumper pull trailer, which has been designed for use uh, with someone with a, who uses a wheelchair. Uh, we'll start in the front here. You'll see the Pro Pride 1400 hitch. Uh, two 40 pound LP tanks. And an Onan 7500 watt generator which runs on LP gas. Uh, underneath, you'll see one of the uh, auto level struts. And then we'll come around to the front door and stairs. We'll go in after I do, uh, finish the outside tour. But there's the front door. And then we have uh, a compartment for the auto lift uh, electronics. And up top you'll see the uh, awning, electrically operated. There's also LED lights that run across uh, the top. There's an outside uh, electrical socket here. And moving around, we have the uh, tankless water heater run by gas. Upgraded wheels, tires, and axles. The axles are 7,000 pounds each. Uh, there are the other lifting studs for the auto level system. There's six, three on each side. That's a vent for the uh, stove, which is inside. We'll show you that on the inside tour. This obviously is the opening for the Braun wheelchair lift. And here we see one of the backup cameras which hooks into the a screen inside the dashboard of the truck. Coming around the back, there's a second backup camera. And the third backup camera. And down here we have the uh, shore power connection, 50 amp or 30 amp. Uh, cable and the uh, fresh water hookup. Coming around this side is the general storage area, which is five feet long, believe it or not, uh, two feet high and a foot deep. Coming around here is the battery compartment where you can see uh, there are three 100 amp hour battle borne lithium ion batteries and a 3000 watt inverter converter uh, Victron is the brand and a master uh, on off switch and various other switches in the back wall. Okay. This is the vent for the furnace. This fills your fresh water tanks. This is another electrical outlet. Uh, your sewer valves. And we're back around to the front of the unit. Next, we'll go inside. Uh, the trailer is 13 feet, 2 inches tall. We've just walked inside the front bedroom. There's the front door. And 
This is the frame, a Murphy bed frame for a king size mattress. Uh, any thickness uh, up to 16 inches will be accommodated. And it just pulls down. Like so. It's even easier with a mattress in it with the added weight. Here we have a general purpose uh, closet, which is the front slide out. Those are some tools for the Pro Pride hitch. The light switch, which reminds me I need to turn the lights on. Uh, up top is the uh, front air conditioner, 13,000 BTUs, do, uh, Dominic. And we have some various uh, controls on this wall. This one is the water pump when you're running on the uh, self-contained fresh water tank. Uh, next is the uh, generator on-off switch, the slide out, and uh, light switches. Over here we have the uh, gray and black tank heater and the uh, thermostat, uh, air conditioner, and heating control. And this is the uh, Victron 50 touch uh, wall monitor. This is an access panel which comes out very easily to get to the plumbing uh, of the shower which is on the other side of the wall. So we'll go around and see that. Uh, the passageway, although it looks narrow, is 23 inches from here to here, 23 inches. On the right, there's a full-size stacking LG washer and dryer. The dryer is gas-operated, washer electric. On this side, we have the 5-foot roll-in shower with a vent on the ceiling which is electrically operated both the fan and the opening And over here we have the sink, the standard medicine cabinet, and the standard cabinet below. And we have the uh, vent electric uh, control and the fan on off. Uh, this is the instant hot water heater and that's a light switch and an electrical socket. Coming into the front part of the trailer uh, you'll notice full-size refrigerator LG and the freezer is uh, two feet across, two feet high, and uh, about 22 inches deep. We did not put an ice maker in to have more space for freezing items. Okay. Next, we have the sink with an upgraded faucet. Yeah, it just goes wherever you want it to. Um, a drawer, light switches over there. Uh, under the sink cabinetry, 
a standard storage. You have an LG stove with uh, a griddle and four burners. The burners are of various sizes and put out different uh, BTUs. This one's a simmer. And it has a really big oven. And I mentioned the vent. There's your vent fan, and that exits to the outside, which I made uh, reference to on the outside uh, part of the uh, tour. Then we have a full-size microwave. We have the plate, it's just in storage. That slide-out fan is a neat feature. It helps uh, exhaust fumes from the front burners. Then we have the full-size Braun wheelchair lift. Uh, capacity is, I think, 900 pounds. Uh, up on the ceiling is an electrical socket and a cable connection. Uh, the white board is for mounting a TV, a wall mount. Uh, the screws are into the studs of the trailer, but unfortunately those don't match up with the uh, most of the wall mounts uh, attachment screws, so we needed an adapter. And we have over here the slide out for the uh, awning, uh, the slide out for the slide out over there, the rear slide out, and light switches. Every window has uh, shades, and uh, this is a queen-size Murphy bed frame, which can also accommodate any mattress up to 16 inches thick. And on the ceiling is a track which holds uh, that ring, just slides in the track, and it holds uh, a, uh, a Hoyer lift harness, and you can lift the individual from his wheelchair onto the bed, onto a shower chair, and then roll them into the shower or the toilet, whatever the case may be. Uh, the rear slide out has uh, some light switches, and this uh, space which could be used for a sofa or two overstuffed chairs. And uh, then there's a general purpose counter over here, which is six feet long. And then there's a cantilevered extension, making it seven feet long. And uh, space underneath for chairs. And then we come around over here, it's food pantry, it goes up pretty high. Incidentally, the ceiling height in the trailer is eight feet from the floor to the ceiling. And uh, there's the uh, rear air conditioner, 13,000 BTUs, Dometic. And uh, in the food pantry, we have these full extension slide outs. We have a wide one and a thin one for smaller jars. You just put the uh, the item in here and it's held in place with these elastics. It's kind of a neat idea to increase storage. And this is uh, circuit breakers and fuse box. And it's just fuses in there. There's also uh, these cabinets, which run the length 
of the rear part of the trailer for general storage. Thank <laughs> you. 